Uh, I'm John Fitzsimmons. I'm a painter from Syracuse, New York. I've uh, lived in this area almost all my life. <clears throat> I've always been a painter. I've always been interested in the figure. But a few years ago, I started re-examining my work. I took all my work that I had in my studio, put it out, really looked at it. And I, I realized what I always knew is that my work my interests were too, too wide, and uh, I needed to narrow things down, needed to specialize. So I confronted my interest in figuration, representational art, the figure, and so on and so forth, and what that meant to me, and decided that this is what I want to concentrate on. So uh, that's what I've been doing for the past several years. And I think it's important for an artist to make those decisions because it's really easy to take a direction certain distance and it's easy at the beginning you have beginner's luck you make things work and then you get into it and you realize that now you have this hurdle to get over uh, you've done the easy stuff now you have to do the hard stuff so if you work very broadly it's, it's easy to get around that because it's like you, you get to that hurdle and you, you go sideways instead of through it. So <clears throat> anyways, I've been really concentrating on, uh, on the figure and exploring it. And what does that mean? Well, uh, to me, uh, when you look at beauty and what's beauty and what's aesthetics, what's, what an artist interested in, expression and all that stuff, I see two things, where beauty comes from or where aesthetics comes from. It's fertility or mortality. Mortality is the subline, that's the mountain, climbing mountain others, um, being at sea. is something is so much bigger than you. And fertility is obvious, uh, it's what animals do, they reproduce, they perpetuate themselves. This is fertility. And when you look at art from any age, I can, I can break it down to one or the other. Um, looking at medieval art in the cloisters, very, very definitely that division. You have that mortality, the sarcophagi, and you have the, uh, the fertility, the, what we think is simple beauty. So anyways, um, let me ramble. So this particular painting is a series of paintings I did of this particular model. And um, the model is anonymous. It's not about her. It's about something else. Now, in my artist statement, I, I say my work implies stories. But they're stories that can only be told with images. So you can talk about it, but it's not what it is. You can't, expressing it verbally does not, uh, is not the totality of the painting. The painting can only exist as a painting, it's only an image. It's, um, so, like a poem. A poem can't really be translated because it's no longer that poem unless it's rebuilt. So that's what I'm looking for in my painting, is getting it to that point where it's not literal, it's telling a story on some level, but you really can't express it verbally. It can only be expressed uh, by image. So I have a, a good uh, quote there by Nicholas Africano. It says, my interest lies in what cannot be told and what seems unspeakable. So, you know, what's the story here? Well, we can talk about it, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, and I have several other paintings uh, similar to this. So um, that's what's going on here. <laughs>